The new advisory on Hurricane Irma is in from the National Hurricane Center. The Category 5 storm made landfall overnight when it passed over Barbuda. And we have weather team coverage this morning for you, covering every angle of this storm. Meteorologist Dave Warren is here with what we can expect in the days to come. But we will start with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. And Lisette, what is the latest now on Irma? Well, Hurricane Irma is still a dangerous Category 5, and you can see the eye is now moving towards St. Martin and the Max is seen wind still 185 miles per hour and it is going to continue moving here towards the west northwest as we take a look at the latest 5 a.m. advisory. So uh, let's move on and show you that we do have some hurricane warnings in place uh, for parts of Guadalupe, Antigua and Barbuda and the northern Leeward Islands as well as the British and U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and parts of Hispaniola. We also have hurricane watches in place for uh, Southeast Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and Cuba as well. Now, there has been a shift, and in the cone and in the models, more towards the east. And right now, it looks like the center of Irma, for the time being, could be moving across parts of uh, Miami Dade County as we head into uh, the weekend. So, as we take a look at the models, you'll notice that the models are indicating that Irma will likely move to the west northwest and then take a turn to the north as we we head into Saturday and into Sunday, and some of the models are keeping moving right over us northward, but then many of the models are keeping it just offshore or to the east. It's still too soon to say, but the GFS, the Euro model coming together to indicate that that could be the case, that it could be directly moving northward across our state or just to our east. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see and remain prepared. In terms of the tropical storm force wind probabilities, that is increasing here as we head throughout the next few days. Notice Saturday into Sunday, that's when we're going to start to see the highest chance of dealing with these damaging tropical storm force winds. And as we take a look at what's happening in terms of the steering flow, we have high pressure steering Irma at this time uh, towards the west and the west northwest. But then it's all going to depend on this dip in the jet stream and whether it misses Irma or it helps to steer it more to our east or northward across the state or possibly even to our west. So, of course, we'll have more on that in just a few minutes, but we